You're watching Final Score with Wes Moore on Fox 16. I have a must-see documentary for Razorback fans. It's called Corlisville. River Valley now produced the video, and you can find it on YouTube. Joining me now to talk about it, Mark Freeman, Brad Caldwell, and Maddie Laster. Guys, hey, first of all, congratulations. It is very well done. I saw one of you guys, Mark, I think you tweeted it out, and so I clicked on it, and I didn't know what to expect. And I mean, it was like a Netflix video or something. <laughs> I was fully entertained for 45 minutes uh, of learning more about Cordless Williamson. Good job. Kudos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We enjoyed it. Was it a labor of love? <laughs> Ask this guy. He's the one who had to put it in 17 straight hours. Yeah, it absolutely was. You know, we were talking about this before. Uh, all of us kind of growing up in that era. You know, I, I was five years old or so when Arkansas won the national championship. But still, hearing those, those stories in my house, it really was just like a dream come true for us to get to interview these people. So it wasn't just this is work we have to do. Like, we put everything we had into this documentary. I don't know how much use we have left for the next one to do, but it was, yeah, it definitely was a labor of love. Now, I know sometimes when I have to put a piece together and you edit it and you go over it, and you've, you've watched it probably 20 Ooh, times uh, before it hits the air. And for a documentary, I'm pretty sure yeah. you watch it even more. By the time it finally hits, I'm just like, you know, I've seen it enough. Do you still enjoy watching it I, after? I did. When we actually streamed it live to start on Facebook. And I watched that stream and just was sitting down in my chair. I had five hours of sleep over the past 36. And was just smiling ear to ear. I was just seeing it completed and knowing all these people get to see it was it was special, you know. What what did Corliss mean to you and, and that Razorback 94 championship oh, team? Oh, my gosh. Uh, it was it was really surreal to be able to talk to Corliss and, and how gracious that he was to us because, you know, we're were kind of peons, you know, compared to, to Corliss Williamson, you know, growing up, and, and he was a hero of mine, and, and uh, man, it was just, it was awesome, it was awesome, and that 94 team, I mean, even still, means so much to me, and, and I, these guys as well, because of how successful that they have been, and the most successful team ever, and really probably the greatest Razorback team of all sports, because of when they won and how they won. So did all three of you sit down with Cordless, or is it more a one-on-one -on -one interview? We were all there. Yeah, we got Brad hooked us up with, uh, got us some media credentials there in uh, Dallas when Phoenix came to town and got us with the correct people. And we got to sit down with Cordless. We wasn't the greatest of locations. We were in a hockey locker room over here in the corner, but they blocked off 15 minutes and he stayed 30. He, he would have stayed as long as we had questions for him. He was just, Brad was talking about, he's super gracious and he's been nothing but great since. But we, we were able to all go and make a trip of it and meet him and, it was it was one of those things where we, like they said we were it was surreal we were we were doing our job and then we get done we're just like we just interviewed Corliss Williams <laughs> it was crazy so. I've uh, been able to interview him professionally and then gotten to know him off the court and he's just a very humble guy uh, it's never about him it's always about everybody else what type of an interview was he I mean because this is about him because I can see him not wanting this kind of focus attention on him what was he his idea or when you presented this idea to him what what kind of a, a response did he have he was he was open to it obviously enough to to sit down with this i don't think he understood until it aired what it was going to be yeah. how how intense it was going to be and how how in depth we were going to get he didn't know we were going to be talking to his high school coaches junior high coach his mom and all these <laughs> different people scotty thurman and coach zimmerman all these people about him so when he called me the day after it aired and he you could hear his voice shaking and he was talking about how he watched it with his boys and his family and they just appreciated it so much and his mom called and she you could hear her in tears on the phone it was just it was emotional i mean it was emotional for us brad was telling us before you know and a couple of my friends have sent me messages and said you know i watched it with my dad and i remember back to 94 watching this when we were eight nine years old and it's it's kind of an, it's a trip back but it's an emotional thing so it was really neat to to hear him have that kind of reaction to it as well how gratifying is it when you have the people that this is about Cordless's mom and Scott, when they tell you, oh, you know wow. how much it means to. Well, they call him, but, <laughs> but I mean, it, it's a, it's amazing. It really is that Corliss actually said this is the best thing anybody's ever done for uh, me, and like. You're just when you hear something like that, you're just blown away by the fact that you've got this guy that he went to the NBA. He was he's the only guy that has or one of two guys that has his name up there in the rafters and all this stuff. And, and he says, hey, this is the best thing that's ever been done for me. I mean, it's just it's just mind boggling. And I thought it was too great. What else was great was he hasn't forgotten where he's from. You know, Russellville means so much to him to even to this day. Yeah. And I don't know if it's the, the way he was brought up. 
or just the history there, but uh, it was really gratifying to see that he hasn't forgotten where he's from. Absolutely. Well, the documentary titled Corlissville because back in 95, they named the city of Russellville Corlissville for one day. <laughs> and, you know, his, his mom, and it obviously goes back to his raising and just the way he was raised to be humble. And he said that, you know, Coach Daly said he didn't let him slough off and nobody treated him like anything other than just a normal, normal guy, aside from being just a giant and an <laughs> athletic specimen. But uh, he was, yeah, man, he was just super humble. And you can see when you meet his family and the, the coaches and some of the people who had a hand in raising him, that that's, that's why. Matty, were there any challenges in putting this together, editing this? Absolutely, trying to kind of find the right storyline because it, kind of our first interview was Corliss. And we knew kind of what we wanted to do, but it wasn't really fully formed. We were just going to kind of go as we went and see what we put together. And then the more when we talked to Mom, we were like, okay, we can kind of see the direction. And then when we talked to Scotty, it really a whole portion of the documentary, I know you've watched it, is about their relationship. So it was a challenge kind of as we went, it kind of changed. As I wish we, we could have gone back footage. and talked to Corliss at the end, yeah, you know, to absolutely. give a little follow up. But yeah, having him as the very first interview was a little difficult. Part two, Corliss? Yeah. Part two, right. maybe. I'm it open. comes around. <laughs> I enjoyed really the, the interview with his high school coaches and the junior oh, high coaches because I'd never heard from yeah. those guys. That was really cool, the insight they had of him as a high school kid or growing up in Russellville. Absolutely, yeah. and that broken backboard, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. that footage was lost. It literally could not be found by anybody anywhere. Either Except here. Corliss. Corliss <laughs> sent it to me on Saturday. It was going to air Monday. So he got to plug it in over the weekend or else we wouldn't have had it. Corliss yeah. himself has to email it to me. I'm yeah. sitting there at my daughter's first birthday party going, Corliss Williamson just sent me a text <laughs> message. It was, it was wild. All right. Best way to find this video for everyone that's watching right now. The easiest way to find it is to go to YouTube and just type in Corlissville. Simple. It really is that yeah. simple to find. And it is very good, worth your 40, 45 minutes to watch it. Guys, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Really, really good job. Go check it out. Stick around. We're going to talk a little Travs baseball when we come back. This is the final score with Wes Moore. <laughs>